Hey there, hunters. I feel like shit, so let's just get this out of the way. Subbreak demo that launched on the 14th is a massive success to most people. But I'm negative, so I'll just voice my complaints I have with the demo, and we'll most likely have the same complaints at launch and probably for all of Sunbreak. So, Sunbreak itself has great monsters and great encounters, and what we've seen from Asylos and Malzino, like, they're amazing fights, they're hard, they hit like trucks, they're fast, and they just feel good because they do have very distinct patterns. Uh, I think they really did these monsters justice, and I feel like most of Sunbreak is going to be like this. Nothing to bash there. The new jungle map is even great, it's tight, easy to maneuver, like, I love it. So I totally expect Sunbreak to be a great game, even without considering endgame possibilities. But it's just not going to be for me, sadly. First thing I noticed about the Sunbreak demo is that the mouse and keyboard support is still non-existent. Trying to play with the mouse and keyboard is atrocious. The keybinds, the limitations of what you can or can't keybind, the lack of support is just rubbing me the wrong way. They've tried boasting like, oh my god, we have optimized mouse and keyboard support, and there's literally none. I don't think anyone at Capcom actually plays with mouse and keyboard. And I get most players don't, but for a gunner, you really do need to. Now I've made two videos on Rise mouse and keyboard problems from the original demo and from the full launch and it's still persisting and it's going to be like this in some break and I just I hate it and I'm tired of it. All the multi button inputs are still just mimicking controller inputs and by that I mean if you have two input buttons like silk binds or switch skill swap or melee bash and you bind it to one key on your keyboard and you press it well it's still pressing those three buttons in game like on a controller and then that can cause like input drops and you do different attacks than usual and it just messes things up it's bad and I'm, i just hate it next is that the demo doesn't really do anything for gunners and i feel like sunbreak is going to be more of this the only thing we had to play with was the new silk binds and from a gunner perspective there's nothing really to use except light bowgun's countermine heavy bowgun gets setting sun but that replaces wire bug glide and anyone that plays heavy bowgun will tell you that the only way for them to avoid attacks especially when we have no evasion skills in the demo nor can we just shoulder check everything because we're gonna die you just have to use wire bug glide seriously go try Aslos or malzino solo with heavy bowgun it feels terrible. And if I'm not using Setting Sun, well, everything else is just normal heavy bowgun with no adequate skills and shitty ammo. So it's like, what am I doing here? I enjoy the encounters, but I don't enjoy the weapon. Bow's in the same boat. Butcher's Bind is terrible, but I knew it was going to be. It's got no damage modifiers. It's just using cut hit zones. So that's dead. We don't need that. And then we're just back to using regular bow skills. So the demo is just feeling like more rise. Light bowgun countermine admittedly is actually pretty fun to use. It's really fast. But it's also because we don't have a counter evasion skill for Light Bogan already. And I mentioned before that we're either going to use that or switch skill swap for evasion. And, well, switch skill swap is clunky and feels terrible, so we're going to be using counter mines. And that's cool, but everything else is just like, you know, it's just the same Bogan stuff. I don't know how Melee is feeling right now, but all the range stuff just feels the same. And that's kind of heartbreaking. And I'm not sure about Melee, but Bogan's really have no reason to use switch skill swap at all. It gives us pretty much nothing. Bo can use it to swap between absolute power shots and regular power shots, and I did that for Malzino, but that's it, you use it like once. The whole entire thing is just like not for gunners, and so yeah, it's just another feature that we're never going to use. And then finally, I just don't like how the entire game is focused around counters. Every weapon has a form of counter now, and you really can't dodge most attacks from Aslos or Malzino without a counter here and there, just because their AoEs are huge. Maybe it's a gunner thing, but I feel that if Sunbreak is going to be going this route, then as a gunner, I'm not really going to have fun with it. And this isn't like a get good thing. I did do Malzino with Light Bowgun and Bo. And while I do love these fights and I love these encounters, both Malzino and Aslos, even though Aslos has terrible gunner hit zones, I just wasn't having fun because there's no way for me to dodge things effectively without just using a counter and just be like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't have to learn anything. You just like press the counter button and use like counter mines or dodgeable with bow and i don't know i just don't like this weight and parry gameplay because there's nothing you can do with all this tracking and stuff besides just counter uh, i don't know i'm just i'm not really feeling it right now maybe the full game is going to be better but yeah but that's all for me though peace